Once the surgeon hands off the neonate, the clock starts ticking. The resuscitation team needs to move fast, and we follow a strict protocol. The ABC plus T of neonates. A is for airway. The moment that puppy or kitten lands in your hands, the first step is to clear the airway. We need to strip away the fetal membranes immediately. Use a bulb syringe to gently suction the mouth and nose. Gravity can help here. Hold the neonate head down slightly to let fluid drain, but never swing a puppy. That old school technique can cause severe brain trauma. B is for breathing. Next, we need to trigger the first breath. We do this through aggressive tactile stimulation. Rub the neonate vigorously with a warm, dry towel. This mimics the mother's licking. If they aren't breathing well, provide flow by oxygen. If they are apneic, you may need to provide gentle, positive pressure ventilation, or PPV, with a tight-fitting mask. C is for circulation. While you are rubbing, assess the heartbeat. You can feel it right behind the elbow on the left side. If the heart rate is slow, or bradycardia, your best treatment is often more stimulation and oxygen to drive that heart rate up. T is for temperature. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, T is for temperature. Neonates cannot regulate their own body heat. Hypothermia leads to bradycardia and ileus, or gut stasis. You must dry them immediately and place them in a pre-warmed incubator or on a safe heat source. Do not feed a cold neonate. Post-resuscitation care. Once they are pink and screaming, the job isn't quite done. Dip the umbilical cords in chlorhexidine or dilute iodine to prevent infection. Weigh every single neonate to establish a baseline. This is vital for monitoring fading puppy syndrome later. Finally, get them back to mom as soon as she is recovering to ensure they latch and get that critical colostrum within the first one to two hours for antibody transfer.